And now, Charlotte and the Rock. Written by Stephen W. Martin and illustrated by Samantha Cotterill. Charlotte Gray wanted a pet. She didn't care what kind of pet. A dog? A cat? A hamster? Even a pig would do. So, on her sixth birthday, Charlotte's parents brought her a pet rock. It wasn't quite what Charlotte had in mind, but she tried to remain positive. The rock, after all, was a good listener. It was also quiet and easy to train. Stay! And it was hypoallergenic, which was good for Grandma Glennis, who was allergic to almost everything. But as with any pet, some things proved difficult. Walks were not fun. Really not fun. The rock's lack of an appetite was annoying. And it was not much help in getting her out of trouble at school. You said what ain't your homework? asked Charlotte's teacher. But soon Charlotte and the rock became friends. They played games and pretended to be superheroes. They read comic books. They even went swimming. One day, a neighbor walking her dog asked, What is your pet's name? Dennis, said Charlotte proudly. We chose it together. Charlotte loved her pet so, so, so very much, but she couldn't help wishing that it could love her back. Charlotte patted her rock and let out a sigh. <sighs> At bedtime that night, Charlotte kissed her rock goodnight and fell fast asleep. Dennis, however, couldn't sleep. Crack! He knew Charlotte needed a hug. A big one. A dinosaur wasn't quite what Charlotte's parents had in mind, but they tried to remain positive. After all, Dennis was a great listener, pretty good at hide-and-seek, and easy to train. Well, sort of. 